The man who's come to be known as the Tinder swindler, thanks to the popular Netflix true crime documentary, he is now speaking out, saying that nickname couldn't be further from the truth. ABC's Will Carr joins us with more. Will, good morning. And good morning with the so-called Tindler Swindler says that everybody's got this all wrong. He calls himself a gentleman who was simply on Tinder trying to meet some single women. The women, though, say the real story is that he wined and dined them before allegedly ripping them off. I'm not a fraud and I'm not a fake. People don't know me, so they cannot judge me. This morning, the man some are calling the Tinder swindler, Simon Levi, insisting any allegations of fraud are false after several women claimed he scammed them out of millions. Levi, whose real name is Shimon Hyatt, speaking out for the first time in an Inside Edition interview. I want to clear my name. I want to say to the world, this is not true. He's the subject of a popular, newly released Netflix documentary already seen by millions that alleges he posed as a wealthy, jet-setting diamond mogul. In the documentary, multiple women who say they connected with him say he first wooed them romantically. He was smart and funny and very impulsive. I shared my whole heart with him. And then he asked me if I wanted to travel with him on a private jet. And then he begged for help. He said he has threats against him. He needs our cash. $20,000, $30,000. $140,000. But Hyatt denying those claims and pushing back on how he's characterized in the film. They basically took everything, manipulated, added things to make it in a very narrative, which is one side. It's basically just to destroy my name and to destroy everything. His alleged victims, though, say they're still reeling. The man I love was never real. Everything's a lie. Hyatt is now permanently banned from Tinder. And experts say the film offers a cautionary tale for users of dating apps. So check out people. Do your own Google investigation or maybe even make some phone calls. Is this person real? Is this really accurate what he's telling me? Those are all key elements for a person not to get conned. A little more advice, if you're talking to somebody on a dating app and it seems a little fishy, talk to a family member or a friend, and under no circumstances should you give anybody money. As for Hyatt, we should mention that he was sentenced to 15 months in prison in Israel for fraud. He served his time, he's out, and now he has a new girlfriend. Phil. All right, Will, thanks so much. You've been I've watching seen it, haven't the documentary. you? Yeah, I mean, they have text messages and voice messages from him, so mm. you can determine yeah. for yourself. For Robbie. yourself, that is the idea <laughs> of the doc. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.